What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we have a topic from Kotaku where it's talking about something which is apparently really creepy in Splatoon. Splatoon is hiding some creepy secrets as you can see from the article title and it is a little bit clickbaity but you guys know I'm a glutton for horror. Any kind of fear based game or whatever is really cool to me. I usually like conspiracy theories and whatnot so I mean I'm very interested to see what they mean in regards to Splatoon hiding creepy secrets. One thing that we do know is that Splatoon is made after Japan. Maybe there's something else that we don't know about per se that's in the game that's a lot more dark and ominous than we expect. Let's take a look at the rest of the article right now. So it's pretty easy to miss Splatoon's creepiest moments. Oh, and this will be in the description as usual in all my videos. So it's pretty easy to miss Splatoon's creepiest moments. Had someone not pointed it out to me, I would never have noticed. For the most part, Splatoon is a bright and happy game, damn right. But YouTuber Siertis has discovered that if you happen to linger on too long on boss levels, you can hear some surprisingly hellish sounds inside of Splatoon. I booted my own copy up and found that these ambient sounds happen as early as the first boss level. It's possible that these sounds happen throughout every boss level, but we're not able to make them out thanks to the music and our focus on trying to defeat the enemy. Some people note that they've heard these sounds before the boss battles actually start too. What the fuck is going on here? What I'm wondering is, what exactly is it that we're listening to here? The metal sounds seem easily explainable. You're underground. It could be, I don't know, pipes or something. But the what what is uh, what wait? But what about the strange moans at the 15 second mark? It sounds like someone or something is dying. People have theories, all of which tie to the lore. The story, as you may recall, which I didn't play yet. I know everyone's gonna kill me because I didn't play the story. But um, the story, as you may recall, involves stealing back sources of energy called zapfish from a species called octarians. The octarian civilization isn't doing hot as a result, especially when you consider that their home is falling apart. Well. This was you pretty much stealing an entire underground civilization's last source of power, Viking the Shambling noticed in YouTube comments. Noted. That's falling floating wait, that's falling floating platforms, a train derailing, and near total genocide happening. Splatoon is fucked up. And it's kinda weird when you think about it like that, because I didn't even realize that the cuttlefish were the Octarians' last sources of power, so you as an inkling are pretty much making an entire fucking race extinct with your actions in the single player. Um, it's the Octarian's infrastructure falling. Oh my god, wait a minute. That's falling floating platforms, a, trailing, a train derailing, and near total genocide happening. Splatoon is fucked up. It's the Octarian infrastructure falling. Um, according to the sunken scrolls, the dome is deteriorating rapidly, and these noises are proof of that. Who knows if these theories are right? I'll tell you one thing though, the sounds are damn eerie. We are gonna check this shit out right now, because I didn't play single player yet, I'm gonna be doing it soon but I don't know what in God's name they're talking about here, so... By all means, man, I want to get creeped out. If Splatoon's lore is really that fucked up and it involves you demolishing an entire civilization and using their last sources of power for yourself, then this is probably going to be pretty damn messed up. Let's check this out right now, man. Um, all right, I'm gonna turn the volume up, and we're actually gonna go to the YouTube video itself here. I'm going to, uh, let's see, let's see. All right, so a big shout out to Sierratis. Sierratis, big, Shout out to you, man. He doesn't really have a big channel, but um, I definitely want to see what this is it. And let's see. Some comments. Sounds like a fucking monster. Holy shit, I'm glad I beat the shit out of Zapfish cell and grabbed the bitch an instant. This shit would be scary. Damn, nature, you are scary. All right, so let's see exactly what's going on. Okay, I'm turning the volume up, too. Okay, don't really hear anything. This is after you beat the boss? Is this it? What the fuck? What the hell? These sounds happen in Splatoon? Are you guys hearing this? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on in this game? It does sound like something's dying. Holy shit. Oh, whoops. Yeah, those sounds are really fucked up, dude. They're extremely fucked up. Alright, so... 
I don't know, man. All right, it wasn't as disturbing as I thought it would be because I've heard some pretty damn disturbing sounds before, like the sounds from hell that we heard um, years ago. But um, I got to take my fucking jacket off for that one, man. Like, that was disturbing as hell. Creepy sounds after the final boss. So, thankfully, I didn't get spoiled here. But the final boss and these creepy sounds happen. Let's see what some of the comments have to say about this. This was pretty much stealing an entire... Oh, that's the one that they quoted. Um, the haunting cries of spirits of dead kids who are also dead squids. God damn. Wait, since there is a zapfish after the boss, it tells you to take the final shot at him and then it ends. This is so unsettling and also interesting why Nintendo put it there, which is why I decided to post this. God damn, man. Wait a minute. So you beat the final boss, you wait a few minutes, and then this starts to happen. Fucking creepy, although it could just be the ambience of the fact that it's the final boss. I don't know what the final boss looks like or how he functions, but maybe the final boss is a scary themed boss, and these sounds are just part of the ambience that comes with fighting a final scary boss. That could be it, but in the context that we're seeing it right now, where it's separate from the final boss, and this is minutes after it happens, these sounds are fucking disturbing. I can understand exactly what Kotaku is referencing with this. It does sound like a civil, it sounds like people are dying, sounds really fucking disturbing man guys let me know what you think this is in the comments below i want to hear theories i want to see speculation and i want to have an explanation on exactly what in god's name this is because this shit is really fucking eerie the slow walking doesn't help bro Yeah, it's really, really bad.